Merry, Merry Christmas, Virgos. I hope you guys are doing well. Excuse the microphone. It's just the way it's going to be today, okay? So I hope it's okay for you guys. The sound quality, you know, you guys could probably feel it too. It's the Mercury retrograde that's really hitting here. So I've had to have to, I've had to move the mic closer to my mouth so that you guys can hear me um, properly. But anyway, let's dive in. This is your Christmas bonus reading. I hope today is treating you well. But regardless, let's dive in. Let's see what the universe wants you to know today. All right. We have this beautiful deck coming through. We have longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Some of you might be feeling a little bit lost. When this energy comes in, Virgo, it is almost as if even if you have people around you, there's a sense of feeling alone. Almost as if you guys don't really know if you are in the right place. Um, longing for home, belonging. Maybe some of you are, you know, not able to go home for Christmas. And maybe that's what you're kind of feeling like here. You also, I also pick up on an energy with this card as if there is something missing internally. This doesn't mean that you're not gonna have a good day, but it just means that there is something deeper going on here, Virgo, where you're feeling almost as if maybe you're missing your soul tribe. Maybe it's to do with your friendships and not so much to do with, you know, family. It feels like there is something that you are missing. You know, that sense of security is what home represents, that sense of belonging somewhere, being able to relax and chill out and be yourself. You guys seem to be lacking that um, around this time or at least thinking about it and contemplating where home is. Some of you could end up moving, to be honest with you, from where you currently are at. But again, it could be to do with your soul tribe and the people. You guys are original light workers, as this says here. Okay. Let's see. All right, I have one already in my hand. We also have answer the call. Something that Spirit wants you to know right now is to really sit and reflect. What is your soul calling you to do? Now, this can go hand in hand with that card that we just had, Virgo, where you might be called to go somewhere, maybe physically, maybe again, it's movement. It's towards some sort of safety, stability, freedom in some way, comfortability towards some people. Is your soul calling for friendships and community? Is it calling to create your own family for some? Is it calling for you to, to go somewhere? All right, it's a really reflective time for you. The other card that we have for you guys is Council of Light, divine orchestration and helpers in a subtle realm. So regardless of whatever it is you're going through, there is some spiritual alignment coming in. You do have helpers in the spirit world. That could be your spirit guides. That could be, again, some uh, very well-known figures who are here to help you, to support you. Okay, you do have some help coming in. Divine orchestration kind of feels like things will fall into place the way that it needs to so if you're currently feeling like things are a little bit crappy then this is saying here that you are having some divine help that's going to come in and it's going to make things kind of follow a certain path where it needs to so trust surrender let it let it go um rem remind yourself to find stability and home within yourself first and everything else outside of yourself seems to fall into place okay of course not all in a day but it's just where that uh, energy is going you have two cards coming through here for you guys. You have delight. This is speaking about feelings of feeling happy and delighted. All right, and excitement and feeling good. We also have miracles coming through. So even though you have the sense of, you know, longing here, I do sense that there is a lot of happy emotions coming through. And again, feeling like the universe has got your back. This is not the first time Virgo in this month that I've seen that there is some guides here who are looking out for you, that there are some spiritual um, interferences coming into your life to really bring in some miracles, to bring in some sort of success in your life, however that is to you. If there is a problem, it will be fixed. All right, let's see. What does Virgo need to hear this Christmas? Okay, now some of you, there definitely seems to be some sort of emotions that are going to come up here. Page of Cups can be an apology. I feel like someone could reach out to you um, soon around this Christmas time. Three of Swords, this feels like it's something that's going to pull on your heartstrings a little bit. All right, some of you could just have a little bit of emotions at this time. Sometimes Christmas is all about, in this, this time of year, 
can be about you know missing people and that could be people who have passed people who we no longer have there could be some reflection on some difficult times with that three of swords these are things that really mean something to you though deep down because it is able to pull on your heartstrings and it's something that you really once loved and cared for all right something that really hurt you in some way so i do see though with all of this being said maybe this is why you're longing some of you again feel like you're not fully healed from something and that's okay that's completely fine king of cups queen of wands and temperance now there's two energies coming through here this could be a couple of people around you who are going to be helping you to bring you in some peace this could be friendships family members whoever we have a fire sign lady over here but again it's not gender specific to be honest it's a feminine energy though so someone who is super creative uh super attractive all right someone who gains a lot of attention um, it's definitely someone who's able to manifest this person could mean something to you guys this week or it could be an energy that you guys are embodying this week so despite the pain i will say that you are kind of still able to bring happiness to others so that's very interesting um you have i'm hearing you are a guiding light virgo and that's something that you need to understand is is that um i'm feeling like community can uplift you here so again if it's a soul tribe that it is that you need or to connect with around this time then this will really bring you in some peace you also have the king of cups so it could be dealing with the pisces cancer scorpio all right there is a balance here these people may bring you in some sort of peace very two opposing energies with temperance is balancing the sun and the moon so it's balancing these two energies if it's other people these are two very different people but these are people who can bring in some reflection here for you guys around this time or people that you do have around you um now one thing i wanted to say with this if it's not people around you then of course this can really be to do with an energy that you're building within yourself having emotional maturity being able to tap into your emotions to heal it and but not let it overwhelm you at the same time bringing in that fiery energy and bringing passion and and fun um, into your life at this time okay let's see you have the hermit and the six of wands you guys will really be reflecting on some sort of victory that you're anticipating for yourself maybe you are reflecting on some areas where you have felt successful six of wands is all about recognition coming out of something chaotic successfully so i see that you are reflecting on past pains this year um these are not fresh wounds um if someone is coming in it might bring it back up again but like these are old wounds that you are reflecting on hermit energy maybe feeling like you need some time alone in solitude to reflect to think to analyze something but what you're analyzing is the pains that this time of year may bring up for you of again maybe people who have passed or you know things that we no longer have but you're also going to be reflecting on the success and i do believe this is an energy of gratitude don't be too harsh on yourself virgo is something that you need to remind yourself of you are made for success we've seen this you anticipate it you know it's coming for a lot of you uh, there's a lot of gratitude coming in with this combination a lot of reflection on what it is that you have achieved in this year most likely it's always the end of the year that we're really reflecting on the last year and i think that the beginning of this year was tough for you it may still be tough for you for some um there is a lot of success that has also happened that you will be reflecting on here and there will be more you've got miracles coming up for you guys you have justice ace of pentacles king, uh, king of wands and the full card this is highlighting that there is going to be a new journey in this next upcoming energy that you guys are stepping into um justice libra and energy making things right making things fair calling the shots seeing your truth balancing the scales regardless of where in your life you guys are really setting boundaries you guys are really you know i feel like you're bringing the scales into balance if anything has been unfair or unjust or things have not been balanced in your life you're really calling your power back in ace of pentacles stability for some of you if you're dealing with a legal situation with maybe a fire sign here boss manager someone of authority in your life uh it does feel like there's a payout coming your way or a really solid beginning or a solid outcome from the situation all right so someone may be paying something out to you uh, someone could be giving you money here or whatever this is to you you also have the full card so this after this happens 
there's a new journey. So some of you, you could be um, making amends with someone. Again, a fire sign is coming up. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, whoever, or wh whoever has those placements. Um, something that may have been a bit unfair, a bit unbalanced, but because we have the Ace of Pentacles here, regardless of the outcome, whether it's with this person, without this person, you are going to be very stable. And I think you are taking a leap of faith in it on a new journey. Um, and one where I think you're just trusting in the universe a lot more. But you do have a seed from the last chapter that uh, you will be bringing into this new chapter. So maybe this financial reward or this idea, whatever this seed represents, um, will be something that you get to co uh, cultivate and grow in this new chapter of yours. The Fall card going towards the Four of Wands represents success, celebration, and again, community. So that's all coming up for you guys around this time. Let's see. Any advice for Virgos around this Christmas time? You have the Knight of Pentacles. Take it easy. All of your actions at the moment are all adding up. Don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid um, of things not going the way that you desire. We've seen that you've already, you know, maybe you guys are psychic because it's almost as if you already know something is for you because you want it so much. Sorry guys, I just had to edit the video there just so I cut that out. Like what I'm trying to say here is like everything of your, all of your actions, all of your efforts are adding up here. You are actively planting seeds even if you can't see it. Virgo, your slow movement towards what it is that you desire is really paying out for you in the long term and you won't even recognize that when you look back, there's a bunch of flowers along the way. Why? Because everywhere that you walk, sorry, I'm channeling something in, everywhere that you your presence is very powerful for the virgos who i'm speaking to and i really do feel like that is a big part of your impact in this world is you almost are leaving flowers or blessings where you go so some of you could end up being really like really successful um and again, I feel like it's not only in your life, but when you look back, you're really going to recognize the things that you've worked on and what that's happened for you. So in terms of finances, this looks great. In terms of growth, this looks amazing. Uh, and your advice is to keep moving forward. Virgo, keep planting the seeds. Just remember that everything that you do matters here. The decisions that you make, the things that you're starting and planting here, um, things that you do really make a big impact in your future. So um, that's coming up for you guys. Just remember, you do have what is your soul calling you to do it's a big time for really planning ahead because there's something intuitively that you're desiring all right first there is a need to bring something into balance with somebody there's a lesson from that or something you can take from that that's really going to help you moving forward into this new beginning so there we go my angels i love you guys merry christmas and happy holidays to everyone i will see you guys next time all right